After a frustrating one-to-one -one draw on the road against Real Monarchs SLC last weekend, the Tulsa Roughnecks FC hosted Real here at One Oak Field tonight. The Roughnecks went into halftime with a two-to-one advantage, but came out in the second half and dominated and got a second half shutout from their keeper, Jake Feener. They also got two goals by Christian Mata. A five to one victory for the Roughnecks brings home a valuable three points for a team that's looking for a playoff berth in its inaugural season. Let's take a look at tonight's highlights. said after the game on Saturday night that ended in a 1-1 draw and we are underway here at One Oak Field in beautiful downtown Tulsa. Trying to link up there with Henry does so but Ochoa has a nice group brilliant ball in from Ochoa lands to the foot of Mata. Mata puts it directly on the keeper Fernandez now who's at two placed directly at his chest. But it's hard to give a penalty when your back's to goal. There's a great ball that's played in, and Mata just misses over the top of the crossbar. So a, a quick look from Christian Mata on the brilliant ball played in from the back line. Through the middle of the pitch, unable to link up, but Bond steps through, takes it away. Bond has it now, slides the ball in. Blue with a run from the outside, and the keeper comes off of his line to take that one off of the boot in front of Brady Ballou. Oh, goal, but uh, remains nil now. It's a good game, this one. There's Miller fighting with Velasco. Good ball forward from Miller. Ballou. Ballou has it now. Inside the box. Ballou's keep going. Continuing on his run. And it just slides by. Ochoa could not get a touch on it. As you see Ballou there down on both knees. Upset with himself. Let out a scream. And as we see here on the replay, Dave Saunders, another chance here early for the Roughnecks in which they still cannot find the back of the net. Back to Bond. Bond. Off of the deflection comes to Henry. Henry slides it into the backside, and the Tulsa Roughnecks have scored. And it's Henry Mabo's first professional goal with the Tulsa Roughnecks, and it comes in the 24th minute. And just like that, Tulsa has taken the lead here at home at One Oak Field. Yep, the ball came off the defender. They looked across for an offside flag. It fell to Henry and there he was some eight yards out and he just finished in the far corner past uh, Fernandez and with 23 minutes Tulsa gone as you say Pop, the deadlock has been broken minutes. fantastic Score news here one out Tulsa Roughnecks take the lead they lead 1-0 and it's just what the doctor ordered there's Henry with his first goal of the season the lads coming well, last week it was actually last Saturday I get the last two home games confused there's a great ball that's put in over the top and it's in and Real Monarchs have scored it's Oriana and they have made things level here in the 30th minute with a great goal from the man outside from El Salvador. And that is goal number two on the season for Oriana. There's another corner for Tulsa. Played in there towards the area. The header, and it's in the back of the net, and a goal. That's Luca Cordero who has scored for the Tulsa Roughnecks, and the counter happens in the 32nd minute, so just two minutes later, and look at Luca dance with Davrin. Yep, and the Irish chief comes out again from Davrin. With a good ball there from Ochoa to find Ballou. Ballou does enough to just settle it. Great ball played back in, and Miller. Unlucky there for Miller. Ball back finds Vinter. Vinter turns, looks, has Ballou here to the outside. Ballou brings it down with the chest. Plays the ball in, Mata with a touch. Oh, and it squirts off the side of Mata's foot. One moment, um, but uh, yeah, good coordination, good to see. Settled down by Velasco. Velasco now has some space, fires. Fiener has it easily. How are you gonna take this? And it's Luca. Four-man wall. Luca steps in, fires. Oh, tries to test that near post. And Fernandez makes the play. Bond will set for Davrin. Davrin. For Ballou, it comes back to a perfect spot, and a shot put in, Fernandez has it. Kyle Venter with a shot there, he peeled away, it was a different corner taken by it's the Roughnecks. We'll play back to Lucas Cordero. Cordero step over, Henry, Henry 
Central ball play for Chad Bond. Bond, nice ball there. Good one, two, and a give and goes. Now to the outside to Miller. Miller plays it in. An easy ball that's there and a goal. What a beautiful buildup from the Tulsa Roughnecks. And Christian Mata has scored one more time. Make it number four on the season from the Tulsa Union player. And make it one of the best team goals that I have seen, at, certainly at one Oak this season. That involved four or five Roughneck players. It was an unselfish ball from Ballou. The ball was played in from Stephen Miller, and there was Christian Mata doing what he does best, poaching inside the six-yard box in front of the roustabouts. He loves scoring at this end of the field. He can't stop celebrating. And Andy Lorai, 3-1, daylight between the two teams. But what a fantastic team goal. Celestino touched it towards Sunley. Ooh, two players ran into each other. That's Davern, who hops up immediately. A free kick in their favor. And we will have our first card of the night for that Davern. is issued to Davron. And should say as well, Pop, I mean, every coach knows in professional soccer that you are going to have injuries and you are going to have suspensions. Henry will get a yellow card because that's the second uh, foul he's committed um, in the last sort of 10 minutes. So you're going to get... Played in towards the backside, skips through. All right, Price got a touch. Ochoa goes up in the air. And Fernandez, well done to come down in the air with this one, and quickly he goes. It's been a, a closely fought game. Here's Bond. In, a header, and a goal! Is that Ochoa? It it's is. Sammy Ochoa. A beautiful ball in, an even better header, and the finish from Sammy Ochoa, and that is goal number eight for Sammy. Sammy Ochoa, as you say, eighth goal. He deserves it again on his just sheer effort, his physical play. Wonderful goal, 4-1, and you do feel now that the three points are going to the Roughnecks. It was a great ball in from Chad Bond, and Samuel Cho peeling away, header just inside that right-hand post, and as we've said before, just about the, what the doctor ordered, and now I think with 16 minutes to go, I think we'll see a flurry of, of subs, and I think we can, as we see the replay, what a header from from uh, Ochoa. Andy Laurie, as my memory serves me correct, in the first few games, here's another chance. Another chance, Mata, and Mata now finds the back of the net for his second of the night. Wow, Christian Mata, and the Roughnecks strike one more time, and look at Mata going over to celebrate with the Roustabouts. That's a well-deserved celebration, and a great goal to Christian Mata, and there comes the shower. I'm telling you, we'll bring Andy in in a minute, because Andy is, is a center forward, as we say, but I'm telling you, that is a special, special goal. The ball was played over the top, and that chest down from Christian Mata just allowed him the space. It took the ball away from the defender. Yeah, it really was. A um, few... Uh, turn a few heads in Kentucky, won't it? So we'll see what Louisville are made of when they come here to town on outside. Saturday night. For Etty, Etty now step over to Davern. Good, another ball played in. Feener's there to protect the post. Wow, you talk about quick reflexes from Jake Feener to deny on the far end of the field. Another great save. And, you and Fernandez has to whack this ball forward. His side, five-one down, nine minutes to go. There's your answer on the band. They're right there, performing behind where the roustabouts are. We were wondering where they were, and the supporter section there, directly behind the goal. Wonderful. Fantastic. I think you call this uh, performance professional. I think they've come out second half. It was 2-1. Remember, 2-1 at half time. Come out and score three goals. And the two, two strikers are sat over there, very content with their night's work. Top class performance. One of the best I've seen. Case and Associates is your home for the Roughnecks players when they're not on the pitch. A decision to make here, and he is going to show him a yellow card, and Irla Davron will be sent off the field. So Davron picks up his second yellow tonight. This comes here in the 88th. And Davron now with card number five and six. Let, let's throw that one down, down to Andy. Oh, well, it, the final whistle goes, but quickly, Andy, on that one. Adam Black just slicing his shot, and he's annoyed with himself. Yeah, no, just a little bit of miss hit. Got saw a chance to uh, tuck in the sixth, and didn't happen, but it'll be ready, uh, it'll be ready Saturday. The Roughnecks, 6-1-2 and two since July 1st. And the push towards the playoff continues. For this Tulsa Roughneck side, five more goals here tonight. 
make that now 44 total on the season. And they have moved, as mentioned before, the number two in goals scored this season above Louisville City FC, who comes in here on Saturday night. Roughnecks have now scored 44, the league leader, Pittsburgh Riverhounds with 45, but more importantly, three massive points here at home and two goals as Mata will walk, walk his way off of the field with a brace this evening. Goals in the 33rd and 76, but three points, which we talked about was a must-have for Tulsa tonight. Well, we've got to recover. Obviously, Louisville's a, a quality side there. Uh, one of the best sides in the in the East, you know. And, you know, Fond is a threat. has got a lot of goals. Uh, obviously, Dav's going to miss the game, so that, that's a big loss. But, uh, you know, somebody else will step up with, with a group of players that's tight and uh, they all want to win and, and uh, that was a big one tonight because uh, and we had a little fun with the uh, Freddy deal I thought they were singing Freddy not Brady at the end you know I would say Freddy but anyway it was a great night and especially after uh, you know makes things interesting that's for sure we're going to keep going every game is a playoff game so all we can do is keep winning